toilet consuming soda can put your heart at risk, cause tooth decay, obesity, aging, dehydration, osteoporosis, and many other diseases? Did you know that the chemicals in some of these drinks are strong enough to remove rust, kill snails and slugs, and remove grease and blood from clothing? I'd be willing to bet that many of you drink soda on a regular basis. It may not be every day, but at least a few times a week. Are you aware of the risk you're putting your body at? I have drank my fair share of soda, but after hearing that it was bad to consume, I conducted my own research to find out about the effects it can have and decided to stop drinking it altogether. Today, I'd like to tell you about the nutritional facts of soda, the timeline of side effects it has on the body, and the health risks. Let's begin by looking at the nutritional values provided in pop. Soda is a soft drink that is the most common source of sugar intake in the diets for adolescents and children. Soda is a beverage that includes carbonation, a sweetener, and flavoring. The sweetener can be a combination of sugar, high fructose corn syrup, or fruit juice. A 20 ounce bottle of soda is equal to 16 teaspoons of sugar. According to the American Heart Association, no more than five to nine teaspoons should be consumed daily. Here is a timeline of the changes that will occur in your body as you drink the beverage. Within the first 10 minutes, the 10 teaspoons of, su 10 teaspoons of sugar hits your system, which is about 100% of your daily recommended intake. Within the first 20 minutes, your blood sugar spikes, the insulin bursts into the liver, and the massive amounts of sugar are turned into fat. Within 40 minutes, the caffeine is completely absorbed, your pupils dilate, blood pressure rises, and your liver dumps more sugar into your bloodstream. About around 45 minutes, your dopamine levels <coughs> increase production, and this stimulates the pleasure centers of your brain. This response is identical to the reaction the brain has to heroin. Around 60 minutes, the phosphoric acids bind with calcium, magnesium, and zinc in the gastrointestinal tract, which charges your metabolism. When you think of soda, I'm sure you think of your favorite type, whether it's manufactured by Pepsi or Coca-Cola, or if it's diet or regular. It doesn't matter what type of soda you drink, they all have side effects that can be potentially harmful to your body. Diet sodas are simply calorie-free versions of regular ones, but they contain artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and stevia. Regardless of what type of soda you prefer, prefer they all cause similar health risks on the body. The first side effect that will occur is your tooth decay. The plaque that covers your teeth feeds off of sugar. When the bacteria <clears throat> comes into contact with the soda in your mouth, they metabolize and create acids and byproducts. Acids attack tooth structure and begin the decaying process. Next is obesity. Since the amount of sugar consume, consumed exceeds the recommended daily limits, the excess calories will be stored as body fat. For example, if you drink five 100 calorie sodas per day, totaling 500 calories, you can gain one pound in just one week. Next is aging. The phosphoric acid that is in all sodas accelerates the aging process. Dehydration. Caffeine is a natural diuretic and causes you to urinate all the water you have consumed out of your system. Osteoporosis. The carbonation inside irritates the stomach. The stomach cures the irritation by adding calcium that it takes from the blood. Since the blood now is low on calcium, it gains back its supply from the bones, which makes them even weaker. The caffeine also can make your heart and breathing rates raise and, temporary, and temporarily boost your energy. Although there are many bad things that come from drinking soda, there are also some benefits as well. One benefit is the the carbonation in the beverage can make you feel full and decrease the amount of food you eat. Diet sodas, unlike regular ones, are usually low in calories and work to curb your appetite between meals. The caffeine can also work to increase meta metabolic rate and help with weight loss. Now let's review what we have learned today. We've discussed the nutritional values of soda, the timeline of effects it has on the body, and the health risks that occur. I hope you have a new understanding of the risks that go along with drinking soda and realize that as long as it is done in moderation, you don't have as much to worry about. You don't have to be as extreme as I was and cut soda completely out of your diet. But if you want to drink it, you are now aware of the negative effects it can have. Remember that moderation is the rule to use. Thank you.